So we have, oh my God, my battery is low. You see the way I just, as soon as I press record, my battery is now about to die. The devil is here. Actually, the devil's not here, I repeat the devil. But anyways, um, yeah. And Talisa is speaking out again when it comes to everything that took place with Misha B. And she has a lot to say. Hey guys, it's Moral Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, subscribe to the channel. Click that button, guys. Subscribe to the channel and let's get into this video. Unfortunately, one of my friends, his cancer has returned. He's one of my best friends. I've known him for a very long time. Um, He's beaten it so many times and there is a GoFundMe link attached for, you know, medical kind of, you know, expenditure because that stuff is extremely expensive. So if anybody is willing to donate, the link will be attached in the bio below. Thank you very much. So Talisa has now spoken out again. We're going to get straight into it because she's talking and she is saying it's been hard to find the words or know whether to speak at all. But I do, but I don't want to leave things on the note of my last post. I can see clearly that a black female was and is still hurt by my actions on the X Factor. That became overshadowed in my mind last week. When I first posted a video, it was more a reaction to online violent death threats to me and my family and people telling me to kill myself. It was on a massive scale and I jumped to defense mode. I sent Misha a separate message when I first posted that video to apologize because my post was less about her and more an emotional reaction. I fully acknowledge the pain I caused and fully accept people should be angry about it. I can state again there was nothing racial in my thought process. When I referred to Misha as being feisty and competitive, that was a reflection of myself because I saw myself in Misha. We are both very strong women and when I communicate with people I always jump to what I have in common to find a basis to connect. However, I totally understand that it made Misha feel a certain way. As a young black girl, hearing it from a young white girl on a huge platform, living in an oppressed society where we do full on racial slurs and undertones, not knowing my thought process. This can only no um, acknowledge, this I can only acknowledge, apologize for, hold my hands up and say I'm truly sorry. It was something I did not understand at the time. I made a mistake and I completely take on board how that mistake has you know, been viewed. On the back issue, backstage issue, I addressed it that day on air because when I feel under threat or someone I care about is under threat, my instant reaction is to fight back. That day, someone younger than me, both of us came crying to me in my dressing room. Upset over an accusation judgment about them Misha had made and expressed and later admitted to me, which I felt was extremely harsh and it was not the first I had heard of this. I ran out there thinking, I'm doing the right thing. I have to call her out. I have to protect. I have to be a protector. Attacking it head on is the only way to make it stop. The way I'm reading this apology, guys, I'm doing the most. I let my emotions get in the way of my work as I didn't stop to think of the consequences for you, Misha, at the age of 18, immediate or long term. This note at apology is long, you know. I was 22, I didn't have any guidance and I had been given the most powerful platform in the industry at the time. I had a huge responsibility that I clearly wasn't ready for in those circumstances. If I could go back in time, I would have pulled you aside, spoke about the issues, then probably open up about my own issues and we'd have an open and honest dialogue and maybe found some common ground in our childhood upbringings. That's what I would do now. And that's the person I am today. I don't have many regrets, but I regret what happened with us. All my other mistakes only affected me. I can live with that, but that mistake affected you. That, okay, so this is an entire apology. The gag is, what is really pissing me off right now is that I'm seeing bare white people in her comments saying, you did nothing wrong, you did nothing wrong, no need to apologize, you did nothing wrong, everything is fine. I'm just shut up, man. You lot are always talking. That's why I find it so annoying. You know, like, I'm glad that, first of all, let's get into apology before I get into these comments. It was a much better improvement. I feel like this is probably what should you have done in the first place. The first place you were talking about your dad growing up in Congo. I don't know why you need, that was weird. But she explained it was an emotional reaction and we as humans, we're emotive creatures. We react on emotion sometimes when you should have a balance of emotion and logic, but it's hard, easier said than done. But I feel like this apology is better. My only critique was that we don't need to know about what Misha was doing backstage and explanations. We don't need to know all that. You've already expressed that once ages ago. Don't need to repeat that or even give us a backstory. This apology is to apologize to a black woman, Misha, because of you know what happened. Yes, you were young too. And yes, she was young. Both of you were young. But the difference is that you were a privileged white girl. She is not. And I'm glad that you can acknowledge that. And I'm glad that you apologize in a better way. Um, it was just, it wasn't, all I want to say about apology is that it's a better improvement than it was in that last video that she was doing. Because that, that was just funny, man. I don't understand that. What do you mean? Like, how are you coming to apologize? And you're talking about your dad growing up in Congo. Where is the where is the correlation? Where is the where is the relation? Where where is it? Where is it? Because I because I just don't see it. Now the funny thing is, there's actually more to this apology. I actually didn't read it all out because there was a lot, so I thought well, I finished it, but there was actually more. Here we go. Again, 
You have every right to be angry and speak your truth and how it made you feel. I do, however, feel you left out what our specific issue was about. I left my intentions a lot more open to interpretation. Ugh, my God, man. This is, I was most definitely acting on impulse and was not aware of nor part of any agendas that could have, taken, that, that could have been at play. After, I've seen a lot of talk about Gary mentioning manipulation from producers which people are relating to the situation. I can confirm myself and Gary had separate producers assigned to us so I can't speak for his experience for his experience only my own over the years I've looked at that situation and thought about reaching out to you many times I didn't and of course that was a mistake I can only tell you once again how sorry I am for the years of hurt and pain you've experienced and that I was a part of it I don't want to see anyone hurting let alone be the cause of it I only hope you can see my heart and know my heart um, now and know that that's not who I am today I hope moving forward you get all the success and love that you deserve being the incredible talent you are and I hope you get past all the pain and hurt to be you know to happier times sending prayers love and light god bless t the people in the comments now are saying you know i don't know why you need to apologize what is going on well you know you don't experience situations therefore why do you feel like you are entitled to tell somebody if they should or should not ap ap apologize it doesn't make any sense you don't understand the kind of oppressive society that a lot of black women that all black women to be honest with you have been put through yet you have the entitlement it reeks of entitlement i can even literally even smell it in it's disgusting and i find it so irritating and this is an apology for me should be to you know accept if she wishes because she has been through a system that has oppressed her because she is a black woman and of course black women could you know black women can relate to this if you aren't a black woman you probably won't be able to relate to this therefore you even feel like somebody or even have the audacity to feel like you could tell somebody that they shouldn't apologize to a black woman when you aren't a black woman you don't even experience that it's bs close your mouth stay in your lane and shut the hell up because i just hate that like if you aren't somebody who is part of a targeted demographic um who has been belittled and scrutinized and bullied um for just how they are and who they are as a person their mere presence becomes threatening you need to just close your mouth. It really irritates me. You weren't hit by the bullet, so who are you to dictate somebody's pain? Who are you? Close your mouth. Just close it, please, because it, it's just, it stinks of fish. So please just close your mouth. I'm just, I hate that. I find it so, so irritating. I just genuinely find it frustrating. Please don't speak for people. You can raise awareness for people, but you can't speak for or dictate how somebody should Feel. Let me know your thoughts on when it comes to this apology. Did you guys like it? Did you guys think that there was some deflection going on here? I feel like, you know, the idea of bringing up the explanation of what happened behind the scenes, we don't, this is just an apology. Keep it to that. Do you understand? Just keep it to that and call it a day. That's all you really had to do. The fact that you had to really put out three whole books for your apology. I don't know, man. I, would, I, I know bare men are just doing this and they're just tired of reading all these words. But it is what it is. She's spoken out. I believe this, this will be the last time she's spoken out on it. Hopefully we can wrap this up. I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are. Subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.